Move.me allows you to write any of the kind of applications that licensed PlayStation developers uh, could using our official SDKs. We wanted to make it possible for uh, academics and independent researchers to develop applications that take advantage of the Move controller. So we developed the Move.me application, allowing any software developer to interface with this and make their own applications. We gave MoveMe to 25 top scholars at various universities across the country. I think that they're going to find that this opens up the doors for a lot more research. One of my teams is working on a movement-based game called Scoop. There's research that shows if you move more confidently, you feel more confident. So we're interested in whether we can actually counteract math anxiety by having students play this game and move in a confident way. The PlayStation Move makes it really easy to control it because it's super precise. Uh, we have no jitter in the gameplay. That natural instinct that players already have will become a core part of how they control and interact with our world. And the Move.me has led directly to that. Paint and Move is a project that's using the Sony Move Me Dev Kit. It is based on physical therapy. Rehabilitation can be very tedious. You know, you have to do certain movements, you know, many, many, many times in order to increase your flexibility and your range of motion. And that's where the, this application comes in. As you're painting, you're actually using your arm in, in ways that you would normally do in the rehab session. All right, Carson, so today we're at four weeks last post, second degree AC separation, okay? Now the patient can actually see what they're doing, they're scored on it, and the therapist can more focus on the fine motion that the patient's doing instead of trying to keep count or trying to make sure they're going through the full range. So the software is going to take care of that. This is a more dynamic test, a more dynamic rehabilitation protocol. So the fact that it's in free space and it's multi-axial, multi-dimensional, it gives it the edge on a lot of other technologies. It's kind of funny that video game consoles now have these really sophisticated uh, motion controller interfaces, but regular computers don't. And so by making it available to these independent developers and researchers, I hope that they can make some really interesting non-game applications that are kind of outside of the scope of what we do at PlayStation. PlayStation.